Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm a Girl Scout of Silver Sage Campbell. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this butterfly craft. All you need is one piece of paper, some markers, bow tie noodles, it's strange I know, some Elmer's glue, and some pen and paper towels. This is how we start off. Let's start with the outlines. We're going to add some grass down here. Now this grass doesn't be a, have to be perfect. You could just do swiggles. And then let's color that in. Don't worry about staying in the lines. It's going to all look perfect at the end. And you could use markers, colored pencils, crayons, or pastels for this. Next, let's add some flowers down here. So put a few lines in random places going up. Then you're going to want some thin, colorful markers, like so. And I'm sure you all have done this when you were younger. Go ahead and make the flowers as big or as small as you want them. For me, I'm just doing small ones and having red, purple, and teal. And again, you can use markers, colored pencils, anything you want really. And you can make them be tulips, daisies, whatever you want. Next, let's go to the sky up here. Let's do a little nice sun up here. Then I think we should make some rays coming out of that. And let's add some clouds up there. Next, let's paint our butterflies. So grab four bow tie noodles out of your package. And then grab some paint, any color you'd like. And make sure to get the bow side up. So not this side, but this side up. And then grab some of your paint on your paintbrush. Make sure your hand well, it all at once. And then go ahead and paint the top side. Don't worry about painting the bottom side because that side won't be seen. And you could use acrylic, oil, whatever type of paint you want. And they all don't have to be the same color. You can do whatever color you want. And they all have to be plain colors either. You could do a mix of colors or make your own color if you'd like. Or if you want, you don't have to even paint them at all. They could stay this bright, nice yellow. Kind of like your sun that you just made. And then we're gonna let these dry for about 10 minutes, maybe a little less, depending how much paint you have on them. But if you're not painting them at all, you don't have to wait for them to dry. 
and make sure you're painting all the nice little crooks and crannies on it. And I think I'm going to add a little green on this one. Half green, half purple. Then, let's set this aside to dry. Next, we're going to come back to this. And let's color in the sky. So grab some blue markers. And then let's make a line about right here everything up this way we're going to color in so go ahead and start that again you could use markers crayons colored pencils pastels or even paint if you want to do this that way And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Just do it however you want it to go. And remember, you have other things you want in the sky, so don't cover up the whole thing just blue. And you could do this a different color too, like if you want a sunset, you could do red, some blue, and purple. Or you could do it all orange and yellow for a sunrise. It's whatever color you'd like. And you see those sunbeams up here? If you color those over it, you get a nice little palish green. So you could do that or just go around it. That part would be a bit more difficult if you go around, but that's up to you. Try to cover in all of the white areas on this fly like so and it's okay if there's some not white areas there we go and then next we want to check on our butterflies so let's go ahead and tap on it these ones seem to be dry yeah okay next we want to pull out our elmer's glue and we'll flip some of these butterflies over And let's open up our glue. And let's put a little glue in the center. And spread it along the edge. And then let's find a few spots to stick them. You can stick them anywhere along your paper. And you don't need too much Elmer's glue on it, just enough to have it stay nice. And make sure you spread that Elmer's glue on the butterfly spots. And then let's let those dry for a little bit. But first, let's tap them. And let's close our glue. And wipe the remaining glue on the paper towels you have. That way it doesn't get stuck to the top. Next, let's bring out a black marker or a Sharpie. Whichever you prefer. And then, let's turn around our paper. And then make little lines connecting to your butterflies for paths they've gone. Now you could do simple ones, like just around the corner, like this one. Or you could do crazy ones where they go around corners. Like 
like so. You can also look at the paper I did before, how I have two simple ones on the bottom and then the crazy butterflies on top. So go ahead and do whatever you feel like your butterflies path should be on your papers. And then let your butterflies dry. And in about 10 minutes, take your paper off and you're all done. And there you have it. There your butterfly bow tie craft is. My name's Ashley and I hope to see you in another video.